John, we've talked a lot about the Baltimore Orioles, the best team in the AL East, the best record in, in the American League. They've been fantastic for the majority of the year at this point. And we've also discussed how bright the future is for this team and when are they going to go all in. But their owner over the last few days, John Angelos, came out with some comments that basically said, well, when you start handing out this $200 million contract and this $150 million contract, it gets too much and it's just too much on the books. And, uh, I, you know, I don't have the money to be doing that or I'll have to raise ticket prices here and raise this there. I, I just thought the comments were a, a bit alarming and and you, when you have this team that appears to be on the cusp of greatness for the next decade how would you feel as a fan base seeing the the owner come out with those comments yeah he's just telling the truth i don't know why the timing of the truth has to happen right now when teams <laughs> have the best year of their season i don't understand a lot of things that owners do but it's to each their own look he's basically saying there are other owners that are out there spending and losing so you know they can do that we can't um and I think I just think the timing's a little weird. Yeah. You know, they've never been an organization that's going to go out and sign a long-term deal to somebody. They're going to have to do it differently. They're in a monster division with the the likes of the uh, Yankees and the Red Sox. Now the Red Sox have come down financially, and so have the Yankees in their responsibility to spending. So I, I don't understand how some owners do it personally. Some of the contracts seem ridiculous, but I don't blame the players. They're they're reaping the the benefit of that. I just don't understand the timing of it. I think he yeah. could have phrased things differently. I think he's being honest. I don't have any problem with him being honest. I just think, to your point, the fan base is like enjoying the best year ever. And then this comes out as like, like almost like, wah, 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 you know, here comes bad news. I don't think it's bad news. I think they're doing it different. And he has a responsibility financially uh, to not go out and lose a ton of money. Yeah, I I, I I really don't understand the timing. As you said, they're enjoying the best year they've had in a long, long time. And you get to the month of August and you have the owner making firing, if you will, at least for a small period of time, their broadcaster, and then coming out with these comments and the fan base has to just be like, let us have our fun with this team. <laughs> that is very, very good. That includes uh, Gunnar Henderson, John, who I had on the show this week. And I got to ask, what would you have done in this situation where he has a double, a triple, a homer, and just needed a single for the cycle, but decided to forego the single and stretch it into another double, thus not ending up with the cycle, but two doubles, a triple, and a homer? I love this guy. This is who he is. You know, a lot of players would have stumbled and on purpose got a single and not benefited their team. I get it. The cycle's awesome. It's one of those fun things, but... This is a guy that if his pants are not dirty, something's wrong. And he's a, he's a gamer. I mean, this guy gets after it. And I have all the respect in the world. Look, I've seen too many guys on purpose try to just get doubles when they could get triples because of a doubles record. So I have a lot of respect for him. That was a surefire double. Uh, and I think anything less would have might, might look worse for him uh, just because I think records have to come as they come. I think they fall in a, in, a, in a way that just happened. I think when you deliberately set records, then I think you're selfishly going after things. I'll give you an example. If your stolen base game is X, if you can steal 50 bases, good for you. But if you then hit your 30th home run and then you've got 22 stolen bases and now all of a sudden you get eight more because you want to be in the 30-30 club, I'm not cool with that. I just think when you get certain numbers to get them, or you stretch them and do things out of the norm, then I think it's just a selfish thing. So I, that's just me. I've seen guys that just 40, 40 is part of their game. They don't wait to get the 40th home run and then steal 40 bases. They steal 40 plus bases because that's part of their game. Yeah. And the 40 home runs just come. I I've, uh, I've agreed with you on this Gunnar Henderson thing. Also like, Cycles are really cool. Do not get me wrong, but they do not put money on your table when you're going into a new contract and doubles and OPS and all of that stuff does. So I, I say, go get your extra bases, look up at the end of the year and have more extra bases. And to your point, there were guys foregoing triples to hit doubles. You can't lead the league in doubles by hitting triples, John.